Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Wanderlust Rendezvous. Chiang Mai is well known for its majestic temples and today I am taking you to its most famous wats. Wat Phan Tao is one of the older temples of Chiang Mai in the old walled center of the city. The first structures were likely built towards the end of the 14th century. Wat Phan Tao meaning Temple of a Thousand Kilns, probably derives its name from the ovens used to cast Buddha images for another temple, the Wat Chedi Luang, which is immediately next to this. The Vihan of Wat Phan Tao was originally a Hokam, a throne hall for one of Chiang Mai's kings, built in 1846. The Vihan is an all wooden building constructed from teak panels set on a stone base. It is one of the few remaining all wooden structures of this sort in Chiang Mai. Inside the Vihan, large red painted teak pillars support the building. Opposite the entrance is a large golden sitting Buddha, the Wat Phan Tao's principal Buddha image. On the left hand side is an ornately carved wooden coup, a Buddha throne used to enshrine important Buddha images. The Wat Phan Tao Temple Complex also houses a large chedi, a small bell tower and the monks' private living quarters. From Wat Phan Tao, I am walking towards the iconic Wat Chedi Luang, the biggest tourist attraction in entire Chiang Mai. At the entrance to the precinct stands a delightful little temple, the Lak Muang built in 1940 on the site of an earlier wooden building. This shrine is the abode of Chiang Mai's guardian spirit, Lak Mua. Next to this temple stands a huge gum tree and according to a tradition, if the great tree should fall, disaster will overtake the city. This is the iconic Chedi Luang Stoba. What Chedi Luang translates to the Temple of the Big Stuba or Temple of the Royal Stuba. The construction of this temple started in the 14th century when King Saing Muang Ma planned to bury the ashes of his father there. After 10 years of building, it was left unfinished later to be continued after the death of the king by his widow. Probably due to stability problems, it took until the mid-15th century to be finished during the reign of King Tilokaraj. It was then 82 meters high and had a base diameter of 54 meters, at that time the largest building of all Lana. In 1468, the Emerald Buddha was installed in the eastern niche. In 1545, the upper 30 meters of the structure collapsed after an earthquake and shortly thereafter, in 1551, the Emerald Buddha was moved to the Luang Prabang in present-day Laos. The Emerald Buddha is considered the sacred palladium of Thailand and now housed in Wat Phra Kyo in Bangkok. For the 600th anniversary of the Chedi in 1995, a copy of the Emerald Buddha was made from black jade 
and was placed in the reconstructed eastern niche. This ordination hall located in the front is also an example of beautiful lana architecture with its serpents are probably one of the most remembered elements. This Vihar houses a Buddha statue named Phra Chavo Atar, which is cast in the late 14th century. This image displaying the Abhaya Mudra, the dispelling of fear hand gesture, dates back to the time when Wat Chedi Luang was founded. The statue is flanked by two disciples on either side. The high red ceiling is supported by two rows of tall round columns. Wat Chedi Luang hosts monk chats every day. Tourists are invited to speak with monks, usually novices, and ask them anything about Buddhism or Thailand. Next and the last temple I am visiting today is Wat Phra Singh. Wat Phra Singh is situated at the end of the main street Rachatadamanon Road of Chiang Mai. The road runs east from the temple via Tafe Gate to the Ping River. This Vihan Lai Kam is the main attraction of the complex. Built in 1345, this temple houses Northern Thailand's most revered Buddha statue, the Phra Buddha Sihing, which gives the temple its name. The origins of this statue are unknown, but according to legend, it was based on the Lion of Shakya, a statue since lost which used to be housed in the Mahabodhi temple of Bodh Gaya in India. The Phra Buddha Sihing statue is supposed to have been brought by a Ceylon to Ligor, the present-day Nakhon Si Tamarat, and from there via Ayutthaya to Chiang Mai. It is alleged that the head of the statue had been stolen in 1922. The possibility remains that the present statue, or maybe only the head, is a copy. Every year during the Songkran festival, the statue is taken from Vihan Lai Kam and carried through the streets of Chiang Mai in a religious procession, during which the spectators honor the statue by sprinkling water over it. This is Hoi Trai. 
The Temple Library is another prime example of classical Lana architecture and it is one of the most beautiful temple libraries in Thailand. The guards flanking the stairs consists of lions emerging from the mouths of a makara, a mythical water creature. This combination is rarely seen elsewhere. This Ubasol built in 1806. It contains two entrances, a south entrance for monks and a north entrance for nuns. The Kulai Chedi, the small square based Chedi, built as a pagoda with five tiered roofs, is connected to Vihan Lai Kaam by a short tunnel which is not open to visitors. The Fratat Luang, each side of the square base of the main Chedi of the complex features the front half of an elephant emerging from it. After it was built in 1345, the Chedi was enlarged several times. At Wat Phra Singh, I am ending this video. See you in the next episode. Till then, goodbye from Chiang Mai.